then there's Monk Watson. He's going to be featured, although posthumously, at this next year's uh, Abbott get-together. His son Bill lives in the same home that he grew up in many years ago. And Monk is uh, going to be featured by the Lions Club with a pin in 2008 for the Abbott Magic get-together. Now the Lions Club every year sells pins and they're $3 and they're great collectibles. And uh, Monk Watson was a tremendous uh, performer. He used to uh, run a music hall in downtown Detroit. And he uh, would, uh, they would have acts that featured trampolines, clarinets, all sorts of things back in the 20s and 30s back in Detroit. And he was the orchestra leader or the uh, maestro, if you will. So uh, Monk would do a uh, pantomime of magicians performing or people walking on the tightrope. I still remember him balancing. And he, was, he was standing on the floor, but it made it look like he was walking on the tightrope. It was very funny. Very funny routines. He was most famous for his conductor, and he played off the idea of an orchestra in the railroad station. And so he was a conductor conducting as a conductor, is <laughs> how the whole joke went. And uh, he had a uh, reel-to-reel -reel with the sound of the uh, Orpheus uh, music in the background, and then right in the middle, a train comes into the station. So he would go from conducting the the orchestra to conducting the train. So it was uh, really a very horrible pun, but very, very funny. And he did write a book called The Professional Touch, which we still sell to this day for $5. It was written in 1945, and there's some magic in there by Del O'Dell and by Monk. And uh, Monk was just a tremendous guy. It's just nice to talk about him.